Let's have a chat about uh, N14s today. Got to run something past you real quick. Uh, this truck's been giving me trouble here in the last few months. Haven't been using it a whole lot. Uh, it's been popping and snorting. Kind of a stumbling type thing when you uh, start it up in the morning and it's, you know, below operating temperature, 120, 130, 140 degrees, um, basically on a cold start. So anyways, symptoms are when you first start it up, it starts popping and choking and blowing white smoke out. And for the longest time, I, I swore it was an injector that was just dumping fuel. And, you know, I thought maybe, maybe the injector seals are loose in there or something's come apart and it's just, it's just going to heck. So I thought, okay, it's got to be one injector. So we did an injector test. One, two, three, all the way back to six. Three seemed like it was acting up. Um, nothing major though. But after this thing is warm, it runs perfect. Um, don't have any issues once it's above 100 and... 70, 175, 180, it works just fine. Um, so, this truck, when you go, say, up a hill and you're at a moderate low, it doesn't have to be super heavy or doesn't have to work real hard, but it'll backfire and it'll pop. And I thought, man, it's got to be an injector. It's got to be an injector. So, I ordered an injector. Um, haven't put it in. Of course, after this fix, I don't need it. I figured out that it's the boost sensor, believe it or not. All this does is sense a load of boost in your intake manifold right here. Apparently, when I took that sensor out, it had a bunch of, oh, I don't know, black, gooey, like oil blow by in there. It had some gray stuff in there. So I took some purple power. I soaked it in purple power, ran it in hot water in the sink, and got a bunch of stuff out of there. Anyway, I'd already ordered a new one. Uh, by the way, this is a 97 N14 red top. Mm, Kenworth T800. This is the new one I got. This is a whole $18 part, believe it or not. From Cummins. There's the part number. So it's a 2022 spec. Now if you look at these, they both look somewhat similar, but they're different size completely. Obviously the older one is much bigger. Same thread, same three prong plug. So anyway, make sure you check your boost pressure sensor, folks. Kind of a big thing. Um, it cost me lots of uh, lots of thinking. Anyway, um, just go ahead and check that. With this not properly uh, plugged in, it'll actually make your jakes not come on. So if your jakes don't come on or it's acting up, check that plug as well. Also, another thing, if that pressure sensor is acting up, it will throw your jakes off as well and actually set the jakes at idle and it'll it'll do that popping and snorting and you'll think damn what is going on so make sure you check that it'll also mess with your ginger brake as well um, big thing uh, I'll show you where this sits on the back of the manifold the intake manifold back here see if you can see so we're going behind the intake pipe back here so it sits sits right here here's the back of the intake manifold it sits right there directly on the back uh, it's not very friendly to get to but you can get back there with your hand uh, you can get back there with a pair of channel locks it shouldn't be very tight it should be hand tight plus maybe a half a turn with the channel lock so hopefully you don't have too much trouble getting it out it sits right here you can see there's a hole right there and that's where it goes into the plug is there as well not much of a pigtail <laughs> maybe an inch and a half at most so do yourself a favor before you start changing injectors check this $18 part talk to you later bye bye